It's been dubbed a silent epidemic that affects women all across Europe. According to EU statistics, one in three women from age of 15 upwards has experienced some sort of physical or sexual violence. In Spain, for example, four women were murdered in different cities all on the same day in January. And similar tragic examples across the continent have sparked a debate on how to prevent such violent crimes against women. So how do EU countries compare and has there been an increase in gender-based violence in Europe? Well, in short, it's complicated. The last data that we have dates back to 2018 and the next cross-border European report will only be published in 2024. And in addition, some countries don't report gender-based violence in their statistics. This pushed the European Data Journalism Network and the Mediterranean Institute for Investigative Reporting to manually collect their own data from 20 EU countries. And this is what they found. Since 2019, uh, countries like Greece, Slovenia, Germany and Italy saw significant increases in femicides. Um, Greece had the highest increase in femicides in 2021, 187.5% uh, from eight incidents in 2020 to 23 registered incidents in 2021. Um, and it's, that's important also to keep in mind that according to experts we spoke to, this has to do a lot with the control that men had over women in closed environments during the pandemic and control that then was lost after the lockdown measures were lifted. Um, so, um, and then this was confirmed also in other countries. We saw a radical increase in violence against women during the pandemic's first year, and then a spike in, uh, in femicides in some countries in 2021. So far, only two countries in Europe, Cyprus and Malta, uh, have decided that femicide should be recognized as a crime in its own right. And experts believe that more should be done once domestic violence uh, starts rather than risk femicide. Of the cases that we have in our report are both women who were murdered by men uh, against whom in the past uh, former partners or the same partner had taken out restraining, or, uh, restraining measures. Those were never enforced. They had been violent in the past, they were never imprisoned. So um, there is a lack of, of enforcing laws that exist. It's not a matter of increasing laws, it's a matter of uh, actually uh, enforcing them. Currently, there's a directive that's being debated by the European Commission, which would make uh, EU-wide data collection an obligation as violence against women is often underrecorded and underreported.